Talk about a consistent horse. 11 starts it's had. It's only missed a place once. Can mm-hmm. you believe it? Saturday grade back to Wednesday grade. And I just wanted to show the start. So all the way out to here, just see how it cops a little bit of a bump, little contro. And first up, it was over 1,250 metres at Canterbury at one. Came from the back of the field. Second up, same thing happened. So it copped a check. And then obviously this day, copped a check. So they've just had to go back from the wide draw. Now that's not its set in stone pattern. So yeah. it gets a significant barrier change tomorrow into barrier two and it gets an Nashville Wheeler. So I think they're going to be a lot closer tomorrow, especially with the big weight. You always like to see that. So on this day, um, it was inferior ground in there. So where it's had to make its run through, but also there was a bit of an on-speed buyer. So I think there's a lot of merit to this performance. And I just really liked how it just kept holding its margin to the rest of the field when it did sprint through. So a good six of the four in the worst ground there in the 1163, and then holds that four to the two, that 1165, picks back up and runs the fourth fastest final 200 meters in 1205. This horse, Headley Grange, came out and won last Wednesday, and I think the winner, LOU, goes quite good. And so, having a look at comparison against the day, the 1400 metre races, so, and again, that 48.29, uh, they were six lengths slower for LOU's race. So, when I talk about that, the horse out the back was Little Contro, so it had a pace against us or race shape, and then they still run an 84.93 against the 85.23. So, there's so much merit in the back end of the clock, mm. so you can only bonus up that runner, and especially tomorrow with a better race shape, a better race setup, I should say. And flicking over to the, the breakdown, here we look at the 800 to 600, the race fastest 1194, the six to the four, race fastest 1163. And then just when it's had to come through that inferior ground, that 1165, but holds really strong that 1205. And we spoke about Headley Grange, that's so already confirmed the form. So good gate, Nash goes on. Uh, all it has to do is hold that form or figure, but it gets a better setup and we're getting $2.90, $3 to find out. I think it's a really good bet to have. So open $3.60, now $2.90. Yes. What would your advice be to punters who are watching? Yeah, look, I'm not trying to stay on the, the fence, but it's just so hard with some of these scratchings. But I'm going to actually wait. I haven't had a bet yet because I just think at the top of the weights so they can chip around at a yeah. few and just wait for those scratchings to come through and then I'll be happy to bet.